We need to set goals. And I don't want these like pie in the sky goals. The goals like, I want to have the best year of my life or my goal is to get focused in 2018. This is the year that you actually make real goals based on what you want to earn this year. So how do you do that? Okay, figure out what compensation, how much money you want to make at the end of this year. Then you're going to do the math. If you don't know how to do it, we'll show you how to do that, but it's real easy just dividing it by the number of policies sold with your average premium per policy and all that good stuff. But you can break it down into real math and what you need to do every single quarter, what you need to do every single month, and what you need to do every single week in order to reach that goal. So many would like for you to focus right now on your goals for 2019. What do you want to accomplish in 2019? I'm just of the mindset uh, that you need to finish the, the year strong. You need to finish 2018. That you shouldn't even be focused at all on next year when we haven't yet finished this year. Most of you, your goals are here and your behaviors are here, right? So will you ever get your goals? If your goals are here and your behaviors are here, you'll never get your goals. Mm -hmm. You have to align your behaviors with your goals. You may be so far off on your goal for 2018 that it's not possible, statistically, physically, whatever. It's not possible. I get that. But you can absolutely run after it like it is. That's called integrity, right? That's called integrity. It's having a goal and not throwing in the towel, not quitting on that goal, but charging after it even when you know it's impossible to hit. Even when you think there's no possible way, there's no possible way I can hit this goal, but charging after it anyways. That is my definition of integrity as it pertains to work and as it pertains to your goals. Not only does it benefit your family because that extra effort is probably gonna turn into income or probably gonna turn into future income, but it sets up 2019. It sets up momentum going into 2019 so that you can start off the year on a positive swing and not a negative. Because what I know is that if you do decide to throw in the towel, if you do decide to quit early, that it will affect how you get started next year. At the end of the day, at the end of this year, know that you did your absolute best. Maybe you didn't do your absolute best in March and April and May and June, and July, or whatever months in between, but you can know that you ended the year going all in. That you ended the year doing the absolute best that you could do so that you finished strong and can look back and say, well, I gave it a run for its money. Whether that means you hit your goal, crushed your goal, or not, you'll have your integrity.